welcome back to expenses tracker application using Mernstock. In the previous video, we created the a controller and we refactored the application to use MVC porting. But before you proceed on, it's very really important scale to understand what is middleware because you're going to use this middleware a lot in your daily life when you're creating a Node.js application. Cool. So a middleware is a function that is called between your requests and then response so what's a request so request is what you want to get out from this server so let's take this picture here as a server right and this user is our react application all right so before we can make any request to your server there is a series of logic that goes in so assuming that this server exposes its API. Let's let's call this one a blog post, for example, or even our application expenses tracker application. So in this server, we have all the list of income and expenses and users. All right. So assuming that this user see our URL and visit our application, say, okay, wow, this application is awesome. Then let me create a new income or fetch all income. Or register right so assuming that this user for the first time want to create an expenses or an expense so the logic is that the way we implement is that unless you log in so if the user takes his computer and start typing okay click on the form and then that's a record that person is making right so the person says, okay now I want to create a new income so click on the button but the logic says that unless you are logged in before you can so the person don't know whether we have that logic so the person tries to log in make the request right the request is going in before before the logic goes into the server it passes through what is called a middleware the path first the pipeline and then inside the middleware we have our own logic here that okay for this endpoint you need to log in all right so if the user has the right credential person log in, then the person can go ahead and then talk to the our server or our API. But on the on the other hand, if the user don't have credential, the person the user trying to create a new income, the person will send a request and will come to the what do you call it the middleware. The middleware say, okay, no, um, we have no right to what to log in to. I mean, create a new expense because we haven't logged in or you don't have the right credential. So the response will send back or kick back and give the person a response. So always our request give us two, two things, whether an error or success. So if the person have the right information, the person log in, come, come to the, what you call it, the middleware and the middleware will pass and then go to the server and the server will give the response back. So always middleware gives you two things the success and the error all right so let's look at our application for example and let's see how we implemented that um, middleware logic so here if you look at our application so let me log out you see and I, when i when i try to create a new income it tells me log in right that's middleware before it gave back to my application if i log in as a normal user so let me call this one Joe, that is, uh, I have this account and then the password. So when I log in like this, and inside the application, there are some logic which is not accessible to some users. For example, if you want to click on dashboard, you see that this is not accessible because this is also a middleware I implemented to do that. So middleware is a way of what implementing your logic in your application. So we're going to use this middleware a lot, a lot in our application. Cool. So with this being said, let's go ahead and see how we can create our own middleware, right? It's cool. So let's go back to our application. So I'm, let me close everything from here and then let's start from clean sheets. All right. So let me save this file. All right. So here I'm inside. Let me close. I'm inside the server file and inside the SRC and the app. Cool. So here, how can we create a middleware? A middleware is a function, right? That is called 
between your request and response how can we create so we can put our function here say cons and let's call this one logger is equal to a function and this is how you create what middleware right so middleware take three things one request response and next so this is a little bit quick right so it means that so this is a, a, a middleware when you see three argument request response and next so request is what you are telling what what you are sending to the server and respond is what you are getting back and this function called next is is going to be your let me say your intermediator whether you should move on to the next middleware you can have four or three or many middlewares in the pipeline so as you can see here we are also passing a middleware right we are using app.use to use this middleware so if you don't provide next it means that you don't want to move to next middleware in the pipeline so with this let's say let's just console log something console.log and look at this one um a logger like that so how can we now we have our function our middleware how can we pass to express all what we need make use of app.use app.use and you pass in your function logger don't call it like this but instead let's express call it for you all right so with this anytime we refresh our application we have what is called logger so let's check it out let's go to our terminal this is where my terminal is let me put them here and then if you make any request so let's go ahead and then make a request send you see don't worry but let's look let's look at our terminal i'm a logger but look our server is still hanging you see because we are not calling or telling the middleware that okay after you call move to the next middleware in our application we have one more middleware called this because we pass in as use of the user route so all what you need is what provide next as a function and call it as a function so if you save this and then let our server run then let's start again let's refresh and there we go now we have the message called admin but i think i want to make this postman dark theme so let me change it here so if you're not okay with it you can leave a comment below and i will stick to the the light theme so let's go to theme and change to dark theme i prefer that i don't know whether you like it too okay cool so now if you sign it it works so that's how we create a menu we are going to use this logic a lot a lot a lot that's why we pass in here as a menu word all right so um if you're not okay with it don't worry i'm going to implement this a lot in our application so in the next video we are going to register real user and save it inside our database so see you inside